How do we get from Mrs. Feinberg's condition to me sleeping with your mother? You know what? Forget I said anything. It is so none of my business, and you and my mother are way over 18. <laughs> Watch where you go with that. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean you're old geezers or anything. I just mean you're old enough to do what you want and, and know what you're doing. Well, you certainly aroused my curiosity. Look, I know this hospital for a long time has been a breeding ground for rumor and innuendo. Okay? Has someone been saying I've been sleeping with your mother? Oh, just please stop saying that. Well, you brought it up. I blurted it out. There's a difference. Well, either way, it's obviously on your mind. I'd like to know how it got Okay, there. you know what? It doesn't matter. Robin's already made the only one relevant point. You and Anna are adults, which means you should have enough wisdom to not be involved for one simple reason. Your children are. Right? All right. Time to nip this in the bed. Bud, look, with all due respect to you, what Anna and I do or don't do is none of your business. Okay? You have no right to, to make obnoxious demands or, or ask, uh, or ask Im improper questions. I mean, don't you guys have something better to do? That's it. They're definitely sleeping together. Yep, he's on his way over there as we speak. I'm so sorry. You, you have nothing to apologize for. Anyone with eyes can see who my mother glommed onto this whole Eli Love impersonation project. Because Eli wasn't available to her in a sexual way, she latched on to the next best thing. Your poor, unsuspecting oh, father. poor, unsuspecting? Well, don't be fooled. If anybody's taken advantage of this situation, it's my father, the lady killer. I mean, before my mother was around, he was notorious. We all know how a roving eye never settles. Is that a fact? Okay, you know what? Cast that evil eye somewhere else. This isn't about me. I'm afraid the, uh, the whole Eli Love thing is turning my father into a monster. Believe me, throwing cold water on a, our oversexed parents is something I could wholeheartedly get around. So how do we do that without giving them the license to butt into our lives at any time they want? I mean, you saw the way my father reacted. He was stonewalled. I can't even believe I said it. I mean, one minute I was thinking it, and the next it was just out there. And now, of course, because I said it, he's thinking about it. What do we do? <sighs> A complete 180. Act like we don't even care. That way it takes the drama out of it, and they won't have to rebel. Mm, we're dealing with our parents like a bunch of oversexed adolescents. Yes, unfortunately, that's exactly what they are. Okay, my dad, 12 o'clock. <clears throat> hey, done for the day? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm actually going to see, uh, see Anna. Do a little bit more rehearsing. We're actually going to do the part in Eli's show where uh, he, he pulls an audience member up on stage, you know, and sings to him. So it should be fun. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ha have a good time. See you guys. I need a drink. This is war. It's either them or us. 